jobs and education, not mass incarceration. My name is George Baba Ng, and um, I went to prison in 1977 for the, uh, the worst crime you can imagine. I killed a man who pulled a gun on my wife, and I had absolutely no right, no right to take another human being's life. And I've lived with that forever. Buffalo, New York, once a forgotten, struggling metropolis, Recent development efforts have made this city an exciting place to live. Hope is high in Buffalo as development and construction in areas like downtown and the waterfront continue to improve city life. But beneath the shiny exterior lies a huge problem. In 2014, Forbes magazine named Buffalo the 10th most dangerous city in the United States. Just last year, 15,740 acts of crimes were committed in the city of Buffalo. What's even worse is that the men and women who serve their prison sentences continue to return to prison. This trend, known as recidivism, not only affects Buffalo, but the rest of the country. If the goal of prison is to rehabilitate criminals so they don't commit more crimes, why are so many ex-offenders returning to jail? My first offense, the one that led to me getting prison time, was burglary in the third degree. Um, I broke into a house. I was intoxicated, and uh, the stupid thing about it, I didn't get anything out of the house. Actually, I only got a year for the, for the crime. I ended up doing eight months. Then I got out, and three months later, I broke into the same house again, the very same house. Recidivism is much more complicated than you might think. Um, it, it can be defined in many different ways, and I think some of the confusion about statistics surrounding recidivism has a lot to do with definition. Um, it can mean simply returning to prison after a prior prison sentence. It can mean, it can be more narrowly defined as a new arrest that returns someone to prison. It could be a technical violation of community supervision rules. So recidivism is what you define it as. Because when I committed that crazy, horrendous, terrible crime that I committed 37, 38 years ago, I had no idea of what I was doing, other than the fact that I didn't value the man that I killed because I didn't value myself. But had I learned to value myself early on, there was no way in the world I would have shot that man. Nationally, the figures um, come in somewhere between 60 and 70 percent of those incarcerated. And uh, what about New York State? New York State, actually, Governor Cuomo just came out um, with some announcements about a new educational initiative that he wants to do, and he cites uh, a New York State recidivism rate of approximately 40 percent. Um, looking at that statistic more closely, the recidivism rate in New York State for uh, the first year uh, after release is at about 37.5 percent. And of course, then that rate goes up in year two and uh, in smaller percentages in subsequent years. It occurs because people who go to jail often don't have any options when they're done. So once they get out of prison, besides all the consequences of living in a hugely controlled environment, uh, lots of violence, lots of isolation, lots of routine to coming out to this crazy chaotic world we live in. Uh, Very often they have a hard time adapting. Um, Add to that few re-entry programs that transist people from prison back into the community. And a community that really doesn't believe in serve your time and 
everything's forgiven. What we really like to label people felons and, and isolate them. We want to make sure that they stay out of the community. Prison doesn't do it. Prison, prison is not going to punishment. I know we need prisons. You got to have prisons. If you break the law, you know, in America, you're going to, you got to pay, but it, it shouldn't be the end all. It, it can't be because uh, it doesn't work that way. That's why we see recidivism rates so high. All right, because people are not thinking in terms of transformation and rehabilitation. People are only thinking in terms of punishment. Well, they don't take the options afforded to them while serving time in prison as to either learning a trade or furthering their education to actually become something of themselves once they are released from, from prison. Once people go to prison, there are long-term consequences, so they can't vote. They can't get a driver's license. It shows up as a felony. Very often they'll be in for seven to 10 years, sometimes 20 years, 20 to life. It can be quite significant. For the most part, people when they're released to prison return to pretty much the same circumstances that they lived in when they went into prison. Not much changes. And unless something changes, we can of course expect the same behaviors and the same results. So the, our responsibility is to change that reality. To let brothers and sisters in prison know that there's a community, there's a family, there's a society that cares about them, who is willing to make sure that they have the right things in the prison that will allow them to change and transform their lives so that they can come back out and make amends for their past behavior, no matter what that behavior was. That's restorative justice. That's the community, that's us taking responsibility. And when they come out from prison, to make sure, to make sure that we have in place for them opportunities. One of these opportunities was a statewide initiative announced by Governor Andrew Cuomo in 2014. Governor Cuomo developed a program that would have allowed incarcerated individuals access to a college degree provided in prisons across New York State. However, this controversial plan faced opposition from Albany and was ultimately dropped. Education uh, makes the likelihood of positive adjustment to society once a re-entry takes place than anything else, all right? Uh, the recidivism rate for people with a college degree coming out of prison is less than 5%. If those people do not return to jail at a savings of $60,000 average per individual, uh, as a taxpayer, I want to save that money and I want that funding not to go to continuing uh, an overburdened correctional system, which is extremely expensive. I want my tax dollars to go to uh, improving education for those people in the community and reducing, uh, crushing student loan debts. I think that it would be short-sighted to say, um, because I don't have it easy, we don't want it. We don't want to make it easy. But in the end, it's giving them something they didn't have when they went in, and it would increase their options when they got out. Well, um, personally, I feel they could do more follow-up. Um, social workers, uh, more so than just see them once a month, once a year, um, track the, the criminals better upon release, if, if they're able to. Um, I know they have to check in routinely, whether it be parole or probation, but kind of help guide them, you know, put them with somebody that can help them along and keep them steered in the path of the right direction. We have to change the culture and the way that people think about how to respond to crime in the first place, all right? And this is why we support Prisoners of People too and Back to Basics Outreach Ministries. We support restorative justice as opposed to retributive justice. In the retributive justice system, nobody is really uh, served, all right? Uh, people are punished, of course, 
and there should be punishment for crime, but there should also be an opportunity for the person who committed the offense to change. And that is what is missing from our prison system today. And a lot of people feel that, you know, if you lock a person up, uh, that's the end. And it, it's really not. <clears throat> it's really not because people get out. You know, even people that have 25 to life, eventually if they live, they get out. And uh, there has to be some kind of structure for them to come to that helps them transition back into society. And I'm going to end it with what I always say. What do I always say? Power belongs to who? The people. The people. Power belongs to who? The people. Power belongs to who? The people. The people. Who are the people? We are. We solve our own problems. Yeah. 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 Yeah.